Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Senior Enlisted Academy's Class 217-217 Class Convocation. I am CTICS Laura Stout. I go by Laura. I'm a faculty advisor here at the SEA. I am joined this evening by GMCS Omar Ochoa. He goes by Omar. ATCS Edan Castillo. He goes by AC. And QMCS Nick Nickel. He goes by Nick. They will be available to answer any questions you have via chat this evening. Uh, I'd like to send a special shout out and welcome to our international students that have joined us online this evening from Croatia and Germany. Uh, we're excited to have you. And we look forward to learning from you, spending time with you. I can see we have people online from Hawaii, Connecticut, Nebraska. Thank you for being here. At this time, before we get started, please mute your mic, uh, turn off your camera. That's gonna allow the network to flow as smoothly as it can. Um, at the very end, I'll open it up for questions. And then at that time, you can unmute your mic, shout out your questions, and we'll be there for you. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're not gonna bore you with PowerPoint this evening. What we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm gonna bring over my blackboard and we're kind of just gonna walk through some main topics that are going to assist you with success here at the SEA. First and foremost, we want you to know that as FAs, we're here to support your endeavor and your time while you're here at the SEA. Do not, afraid to, do not be afraid to reach out to us, ask us for help and assistance. Um, and also your group, your mini mess within your group, there are those that have different experiences from all over, and that is going to pay off in the end and can help you get through the process. We're gonna go over the syllabus this evening. We're gonna talk about navigating Blackboard. We're gonna go into the major assignments tab, look around, discuss practical exercises. We're gonna look at discussion board topics. We're gonna to discuss primary and secondary postings. We're going to discuss some keys to success and a little bit of good to know information. First things first, the syllabus. While you attend the SEA online, distance learning or DL as it's referred to sometimes, your week is going to run from Monday through Sunday. So class 217, you started class yesterday, Monday. Week one will end for you Sunday evening. While you're attending the distance learning portion of the SEA, your military FAs will grade your essays and will also be the leads during your in-residence portion here at the SEA. Your adjunct FAs will grade your discussion board posts, also referred to as DBs, and capstone essay. Discussion board posts are due Wednesday and Saturdays at 23.59. The only exception is this first week. This first week, your primary and secondary discussion board posts will be due at 23.59 on Saturday. Again, week one is the only week where this is different. That is because we understand you have a lot going on this first week. You're trying to orient yourself within Blackboard if you're unfamiliar. You're uploading PPMEs, you're introducing yourself, you're getting to know everyone. So again, week one's gonna be a little different for your discussion board posts and make sure you do not miss this deadline. This Saturday by 2359 for your primary and secondary discussion board posts. Make sure that you look at your weekly topics and requirements. We're gonna go through, as I bring over the Blackboard screen here shortly, we're gonna actually go to the weekly topics tab and we're gonna look around a little bit and get you familiar with that. Within the weekly topics tab, you have individual checklists. You can print those things out have it right next to you and use it as you go to make sure that you meet the requirements and the deadlines. Within your distance learning experience at the SEA, you're going to have essays that are due um, on week two, week four, week six, and week seven. For the specific date to which these essays are due, you need to refer to the calendar on Blackboard, and that is going to delineate the exact date within week two, four, six, and seven that your essays are due. You're going to have exams. Uh, week three will be quiz one. Week five will be your midterm. 
again, the calendar will delineate what specific day, time, and deadline will be required for each one of those. Keep in mind as you're writing these essays, they are going to become speeches when you come here to the SDA or what we call and refer to as in residence or IR. When you're writing these essays, be prepared to provide that information to your, to your group, to your class. Um, so when you're picking topics, make sure it's something that you can definitely write to, research properly, um, and provide some, some good information. So I want to talk about grading for a moment. The Senior Enlisted Academy has a three strike rule, meaning three academic failures, um, and you will be dropped. Keep in mind there are a couple of assignments that are feedback only. Even though these assignments are feedback only, they are still required to be turned in and would constitute a failure if not completed. So I just wanted to take a moment and clarify that. Um, the upside to a feedback only assignment is this allows you an opportunity to really gauge where you're at. The FAs spend a lot of time providing detailed feedback within these particular assignments, which will allow you to recalibrate and recalculate and make sure that when you submit your assignments, they're up to par in accordance with the practical exercise or what we refer to as a PE. While attending the SEA, you're going to receive two surveys during the distance learning portion, a class up survey and a distance learning survey. Everyone's required to fill these out. Uh, should you forget, you will see a reminder email on Friday at 0700. Make sure when you receive these surveys, you take the time to fill them out at your convenience. So we're going to talk a little bit about staying on top of things. Um, some important things to avoid are missing deadlines. Uh, we understand life, family, operations happen. Um, make sure that you communicate early and often with your adjunct FAs and your military FAs. There are no extensions or missed deadlines or late work without prior authorization. Um, if you know you're going underway, take the time to reach out to your FA. There's always a possibility SHF can go down. There's always a possibility you can lose comms. So letting your FA know this ahead of time that you do have plans uh, for whatever it is will make your life better. Um, also will be an ease and extensions and allowing you to finish your assignments when possible. Another important notable failure to avoid while here at the SEA is when you're writing your essays. We call it busting the similarity index limit. Each essay is going to have a similarity index value. That means when you write this essay, you're going to research. You're going to formulate your thoughts and ideas from the research acquired online or through resources, and then you're going to put them into your essay. When this essay is done, you're going to submit it into a program called Turnitin. What this program Turnitin does is reviews your essay and compares it against other essays in the data bank and references online, papers online, all throughout the internet. It then measures your paper against other essays and references to calculate a similarity index. You want to make sure each time you write an essay that you have the corresponding practical exercise with you and you understand the similarity index and that you submit your essay early enough into Turnitin that you can get, if you're concerned with your similarity index, that you can get a report back, which allows you the ample time to review your essay and make changes. If you submit your essay to Turnitin two days before the due date, you'll receive a similarity index report, excuse me, similarity index report, which will allow you, if you're over, the required similarity index per the practical exercise, allow you a chance to go back, rewrite and review your paper, and resubmit. If you submit your essay up to and touching the deadline, 
you are not going to receive a similarity report in time to make corrections or changes. Keep that in mind. It's going to depend on how busy Turnitin is um, with the other essays being submitted as to how quickly it can give back to you a similarity index report. Keep that in mind when you're looking at your essays. Again, if you have any questions about Turnitin, you can always reach out to your military FAs, and they're more than happy to assist. Another thing to stay on top of during the distance learning portion of the Senior Enlisted Academy is your deadlines. Here on the slide, you can see that you can find your deadlines in the syllabus, the calendar, weekly checklist, performance exercises, major assignments, and weekly discussion board posts. Again, the calendar is specific to your class and has the specific date that these assignments are due. All right, so now we're going to navigate Blackboard a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about the Naval War College Library. As students of the Senior Enlisted Academy, you're going to have access to the reference material at the uh, War College. I'm going to show you how to access that. We're going to look at the announcements page. We're going to go into weekly lessons, look at major assignments, quizzes, exams, some writing resources and additional resources for you to utilize during your time with the distance learning portion of the SEA as well as my grades. So first we're going to look at the War College Library. So I'm going to slide over Blackboard. There may be a delay, just hang tight with me. All right. First things first, we're going to come here to the Resources tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Right here, Naval War College Library Access. Click this link. It's going to show you a YouTube video, how to access the library, how to request the access required to do your research. Once you've acquired the appropriate access, we've provided a simple link for you here at the top of the page in Blackboard. Coming back to the left side of Blackboard, we are going to have the majority of your navigation buttons. I'm right down here with announcements. Our announcements section is where we're going to post information relevant to your class. You will receive emails as well as announcements being posted underneath this tab. Important announcements that will come to you via email and will be posted on the announcement section in particular are travel, DTS, schedule revision, changes, anything of relevance to your class will be here. Back to the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to move on to the Weekly Lessons tab. As you'll see when you come into your Weekly Lessons tab, we have everything nice and organized for you by week. Right now, Class 217 is in Week 1. Again, here are the boxes for your checklist. You're going to start at the very top and work your way down. At the very bottom of the checklist, we actually give you the opportunity to download a PDF of the checklist for those that like to have items printed. Try to make it as easy as we can. Also, pay particular attention to the email address section. The group roster wiki, if you update your email on your group wiki, it does not update Blackboard and NPower or the survey system. If you need your email address ad updated from a .mil to a personal, which is what's encouraged for use during your time at the SEA, 
you'll email Dr. Bud Baker for survey system update, um, and then contact your FA for Empower Blackboard Assistance. Below your email address information are your learning objectives. By the end of the week, these are the objectives, once you've completed the material below your course material, that could be met. You'll notice this week we're going over three-part communication, APA style format, information relevant to writing and formulating essays. Next week is week two, which means your ethics essay will be due soon. Below learning objectives, you'll find your course material, all of your required reading and viewing items. Additional information can be found at the bottom. Again, any questions as you navigate through these weekly lessons, feel free to reach out to your military FAs and your adjunct FAs, um, and also within your group mess. There may be someone within your group that understands or has an academic mentor from a previous SEA class. Make sure you reach out. When in doubt, ask out your questions. All right, next, we're going to navigate to the major assignments tab. At the very top of your major assignments tab, you'll find detailed information regarding Turnitin, the program I described previously, which is utilized for similarity index reporting of your essays. There's a YouTube video that explains similarity, as well as instructions on how to view grade and feedback information for yourself from the FA within Turnitin. Your first essay that's due in week two, we discussed earlier, is your ethics essay. In this section, you will find everything you need to assist you in completing your ethics essay. First things first, we'll start with the practical exercise or what we refer to as the PE. The PE lists detailed instructions for the writing of your essay. It's gonna give you what your essay should encompass, where your information is coming from, the purpose of the essay, and how it applies to senior enlisted leaders. You'll notice here, you're gonna write your essays utilizing the three-part comms model. Again, an important note, everything must be unclassified throughout the duration of this course. For crafting and creating an essay outline, we give you the handout number to utilize within Blackboard. You can save a copy and use this outline every time you generate an essay. Um, send it to your FA and receive feedback. This essay is two to three pages. Make sure you pay specific attention to each practical exercise as they vary from essay to essay. Page links vary, similarity index vary, number of required references vary. Again, make sure you pay attention to your PEs. These are your step-by-step -step guides that will walk you through your essay writing process for each individual topic. As we discussed earlier, number eight delineates your ethics essay cannot exceed a similarity index of 30%. Right? It tells you your essay is going to contain two main points. Your first main point is going to be labeled background, your second impact. Again, this PE is your guiding source for the essays that you're going to compose here at the SEA. If you have questions regarding these PEs, make sure you reach out to your FAs. The next thing you're wondering is how do they grade 
my written essays. Well, don't worry, I have the answer for you right here. We're going to provide you with a copy of our grade sheet, or what we call our Written Practical Exercise Evaluation Form, or rubric. The rubric delineates specific key elements discussed in the PE with a requisite grade next to it. Content, organization, subject matter, structure, style mechanics, format, grammar, readability. The bottom of the rubric, again, delineates your similarity index limit and breaks out what each score level indicates for performance. If you're unsure how to formulate Word for creating your essay in APA format, here in the Major Assignments tab under the Ethics Essay, we provide you with a sample format. As you can see right here, we explain to you what goes where and how it should be formatted. You can download this, save this, utilize this as a guide. Your two main points. We even provide a sample reference page on the back, as well as guidelines for references, general format, and additional information helpful Again, this first essay, according to your PE, you're required to go to the Encyclopedia of Ethical Failure and find a topic to which you want to write your ethics essay. You're going to provide your FA in whatever means they've directed you to with the title and the page number. Again, the handout that was described in the PE for your outline provided here. You can download this, save this. Every time that you're preparing your essay, you can use this same format. When it comes time to turn in your essay, you're ready to go. Right below your ethics essay information is your Turnitin link. Submit here. View complete. Click upload your document and submit to turn it in. Your capstone project, very important. This is a group project. Everyone in the group will participate. Everyone will receive a student role. There are different milestones that you will meet when you work this project as a group. And again, your adjunct faculty advisor will provide additional information and we'll grade your capstone. We have a practical exercise for the group project, student roles, and again, outline and reference page, grading rubric. When you come to the SEA in residence, you're going to present this presentation as a group to the class, and that presentation rubric is available right here as well. Right below the capstone group project description is your submit area. Again, your second essay that will be due is your problem essay, same format as before, available PE, a template. Here's a download for you to formulate an outline and then the grading rubric. You're ready to go, right below, click 
submit. Third essay will be your military heritage essay. Same as before, submit right here. If you have the time and if you'd like, there's an optional assignment where you can draft and submit a biography to your FA. Next tab, we're gonna take a look at quizzes and exams on the left-hand side of Blackboard. You'll see here quiz one and midterm. When it's time, you'll navigate to quiz and exam, click on quiz one. Once you begin this exam, it'll be graded once it's complete. The next tab we're gonna take a look at resources. The Senior Enlisted Academy wants our students to be successful. We do everything we can to provide additional resources regardless of college and education background. As you see here, this folder provides particular resources regarding three-part comms. The sandwich model, as you'll see here, tends to make the explanation of three-part three -part comms a little bit more edible. That's a joke for you on a Tuesday night. You're welcome. Again, three-part comms explained plus an example of an ethics essay outline. I'm gonna open this up for you. Everything that we require you to do, we do our best to provide an example. If you still do not understand, please reach out to us. Here's your outline. If you're concerned about APA, you can click this style right here. Here's an APA template, problem essay APA template, a Senior Enlisted Academy APA overview written in the style of three-part comm. So if you're unsure how to utilize your three-part comms in your writing style, we provide an example for you how to reference Navy publications in your APA format. As you'll find when you're doing your research, you will rely uh, somewhat heavily on Navy resources. Uh, for example, OpNav instructions, uh, UMED instructions, SecNav instructions. This PowerPoint will assist you in referencing those publications accurately in your format. Crediting your sources, how to cite them. And then the complete APA manual. You may receive feedback from your FAs saying reference page XX in the APA manual. Here under Mastering APA Style and Resources, you can download an APA manual. For those that enjoy YouTube videos, plenty of YouTube videos. Down below, the basics of APA Style will provide you with an online narrated tutorial for those that can only listen. In this section, we provide you with some course videos that you can download. If you're going to be away from connectivity, uh, feel free to download these, save them, watch them when and if you can. We discussed the Naval War College Library access, additional writing resources, the US Navy Style Guide, provides clarification when it comes to hyphenating certain words that we use within Navy jargon. Uh, here's the common one we see all the time, 
chief's mess or chief's mess, gray or gray. Many Navy related terms have specific usage. You can refer to your US Navy style guide for specifics. Tools and tips for online writing are followed right here. Study tutorials. For those of you who maybe have not attended any sort of educational training in a while, these videos will give you some neat tricks for studying, putting your thoughts and ideas into the class at hand. So feel free to review these if you feel necessary. At the very bottom of the additional writing resources tab, we've provided you with additional professional military education sources to include McPond's Laying the Keel, enlisted joint professional military education, the non-commissioned officer, petty officer, backbone of the armed forces book. We're gonna provide this to you hard copy when you come in residence to the SEA. Uh, officer and non-commissioned officer relationships and the Navy Leader Development Framework. Again, additional resources as you progress through your distance learning portion of the SEA that you can utilize uh, in your discussion board posts and in your essays. A wealth and inf information provided to you under your resources tab. All right, finally, everyone's favorite, view my grades, back on the left-hand side of Blackboard. Right here, you'll see it's in chronological order. Your weighted total, week one discussion board. When it's graded, by the adjunct faculty advisor, you'll be able to cl click on view description and see feedback as well as your grade. Same here with your ethics essay, discussion board posts, heritage essays, capstone. And the information at the bottom is for your in-residence. Your quiz one, your midterm are at the bottom preceded by your syllabus knowledge check. So I'm back to the major assignments tab here on the left-hand side under weekly lessons. Remember, this is where you're going to review information regarding Turnitin. You're gonna review information regarding your capstone group project information, all required essays to include the practical exercise, grading rubric, and outlines. And this is where you will submit your essays as well underneath the description. Ensure that you read and review the practical exercise for each essay in its entirety. I can't stress that enough. Students sometimes tend to skim over the PE and they receive their graded essay back and realize that they didn't have enough references required for the essay. Avoid common mistakes such as these by reviewing your PE in its entirety for each individual assignment as they change. All right, we're gonna move on to discussion board posts now. I'm back on the left-hand side of my screen. I'm gonna click on whole class discussion. You're gonna find your color group.
And here you will find your intros. Going back to whole class discussion, there's also a water cooler. This is a whole class forum, which allows you to um, read and review information um, that fall outside of topics covered in the class, and they will not affect your grade in any way. When it comes time for your group discussion and your discussion board post for the week, you're going to find your group. I'm down on the left-hand side of Blackboard. You're going to click on Group Discussion Board. You'll see right at the top is your capstone project. Any and all posts relevant and regarding your group capstone project will be found here. And then we divide it into weeks. Right now we're on week one. As you'll see here, you have two questions for the week, profession of arms and three-part comms. When you come into the particular question, for your primary discussion board post, you need to reply to the anonymous. The anonymous is the initial question, and for a primary discussion board post, you need to click reply and reply to this post. For secondary posts, you can reply to other students who have made a primary post. You'll click reply, supply your information, and that will count as your secondary post. Each week there will be different themes. As you're working through your discussion board posts, make sure you utilize this time to really work on formulating solid thoughts and opinions to the questions utilizing your research and your resources. Also, you're going to be required to cite your references and resources to which you obtained your information. This is great practice for your upcoming essays. So make sure you utilize this time um, and review the, the feedback from the adjunct FA. When authoring a primary discussion board post, your word count must be between 200 and 250 words. Your secondary discussion board posts, your responses, must be between 50 and 100 words. Well, make sure you pay attention to your word counts and you don't fall below those minimums. Any questions, again, make sure you reach out to your adjunct faculty advisor with your discussion board posts. All right, we're going to talk about some keys to success during your time at the SEA. Be open to the learning experience. Um, I recommend using this opportunity to really express your thoughts and opinions about how you feel regarding the topic matter. Whether or not it's exciting, whether or not you have experience with it, you'll learn a little something. Be open to that learning experience and share. I can't stress that enough. Read and follow the practical exercises. Uh, again, when in doubt, ask it out. You have any questions, reach out to your faculty advisor for clarification. Pay attention to deadlines. Again, if anything changes, it'll be changed on the calendar. It'll come up in announcements. You'll receive an email. Make sure you pay attention to your deadlines. Communicate early and often um, with your FAs, with your group, with the capstone project, with your adjunct FAs. Um, we can't help you if we don't know. Um, we just can't. So make sure you communicate early and often with us, and we will be sure to get you what you need. Use your mess, be it your local mess, your group mess, your group color mess, um, the mess of FAs. Use and lean on your mess. There is so much experience. There's a varied amount of experience. SEA alumni everywhere. Make sure you lean on your mess. 
find and use an academic mentor, preferably someone who uh, graduated the SEA within the past year to a year and a half as things often change, curriculum changes. Um, but find someone. If you're unsure, reach out to your FA. Ask your FA if they know anybody that wouldn't mind uh, being an academic mentor for you. Take the time to review the student handbook. There's great information in there that is going to assist you throughout your process and time at the SEA. Going to make life a lot easier if you take the time to review your student handbook. Group shirts. Uh, we allow our groups to decorate, create, and purchase shirts uh, as a means of inspiring camaraderie and esprit de corps. We wear these shirts for um, a team event, for group PT sessions. Uh, the only times we do not wear these group shirts when it comes to PT is for your initial BCA weigh-in on day one and also for our off-base wave run. Other than that, you can wear these shirts. Class 217, you're going to have an opportunity to provide the Senior Enlisted Academy with a legacy gift, um, a way for future classes to take a look at what 217 wanted to leave behind, what they stood for. Um, additional information will be provided to the class once you come in residence in the weeks ahead. Preparing for your time in residence here at the Senior Enlisted Academy. Do not start any DTS arrangements or lodging until directed to do so via the announcements on Blackboard and the SEA DTS coordinator. I understand there's scuttlebutt in the fleet, call and get your room early. The SEA blocks off specific rooms for specific classes. Therefore, you cannot just call and secure a room early. Wait to make any DTS arrangements until directed to do so via announcements on Blackboard and the SEA DTS coordinator. If you're a reservist, ensure that you have your NROS funding secured, either AT or ADT, prior to completing your DTS arrangements. That means your NROS requirement routed, orders validated and approved. Contact the Senior Enlisted Academy DTS coordinator for any travel related questions. Again, the contact email is located on the screen. I can't stress this enough, do not block or book any lodging without reading Blackboard or receiving guidance from the SEA DTS coordinator. In the second week of your distance learning, you will be aligned to the Senior Enlist Academy line of accounting um, and will be provided with information where to find your DTS instruction via Blackboard. Class 217's due date for DTS submittals is 16 August. Again, add this to your checklist of due dates. 16 August is your due date for DTS submittals. Do not submit anything in DTS until directed to do so. If you're not the individual creating your authorization for DTS, be sure the POC receives the required information. Again, any travel-related questions, please contact the Senior Enlisted Academy DTS coordinator. So this evening we navigated Blackboard, we reviewed major assignments, we reviewed discussion board posts, some keys to success, and good to know information. At this time, we're gonna open it up for questions. I know AC, Omar, and Nick uh, have been doing a great job monitoring the chat, taking care of questions as they can see them. But right now, go ahead and unmute your mic if you have a question, and we'll answer your questions.
All right, we have audio. Standing by for questions. I got a question. So when you say all this for the first week you do on a uh, day, you told me now, right? English, I'm sorry, can you, can, you, can you say that one more time? All the time and all the back up is still on charge for me, is that correct? So I know this is a complete party foul. I truly can't hear you. You're breaking up. Is there any way you can chat this question? Yeah, you missed it. Or maybe try one more time. Try it again. Let's see if I can hear you this time. All right, any more questions? Next question. All right. Well, if there are no questions, welcome. The faculty advisors and staff here at the Senior Enlist Academy are excited to have you. We look forward to working with and meeting you all. Please reach out to us and let us know if you have any questions or concerns or if there's anything that we can help you with. Thank you so much. Hello? Thank <laughs> you. 